Another way that we can connect remotely to our Raspberry Pi is via VNC or Virtual Network Computing. Essentially, we're going to use a VNC client to connect to our Pi and we're, we will be able to see the screen of our Raspberry Pi, in fact, the desktop, and be able to interact with it via a visual GUI, graphical user interface. So, of course, the first prerequisite is to ensure that we have allowed the VNC connection to happen. So remember, if we go to our preferences and to the Raspberry Pi configuration under the interfaces, we need to click enable on VNC and that will enable the VNC server that comes installed on our Raspberry Pi. And this needs to be enabled before we're able to connect remotely via VNC. So just ensure that that's checked. And now we can proceed to set up our VNC client. So the client we're going to use is VNC Viewer from Real VNC. So if you open a browser and just Google VNC Viewer, okay, and you'll see this link coming up for Real VNC. And this is the page where you can download the VNC Viewer. And of course, this is a client that allows you to connect to a VNC server. So as you can see, there is an option for any type of operating system, whether you're running a Mac, Windows, Linux, uh, even on Android and so on, iOS, you can get a corresponding VNC client from real VNC and it works pretty well. In fact, uh, this, I've used this for quite a while and it is seamless and easy and uh, have had no issues. So go ahead and click on download VNC viewer. I already have it installed and run through the appropriate installation process for Windows. It's a couple of clicks. And of course, for Mac, you just drag and drop it to your applications folder and you should have your VNC viewer installed. OK, so once it's downloaded and installed, let's go ahead and fire up our VNC viewer and we are first going to create a new connection. So if you click on File, New Connection, you'd want to enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So in my case, 10.0.0.106. Uh, you could give it a friendly name. Let's just say here, Raspberry Pi. So you'll know, you know what you're connecting to instead of an IP address in case you have many different machines that you're connecting to. Uh, you can leave all the other settings uh, as the default. Click on OK. And you should see the machine here. Just go ahead and double click on the machine and uh, you will have to provide credentials. So for the username, we are going to enter Pi. The password is going to be the password that you set. You can click on Remember Password so that you don't have to type it in every time. However, if you're using a machine that perhaps others may be using, you may not want to remember the password and may want to enter it every time. But I'm just going to click on Remember Password, click on OK, and there you go. So now we are actually connected to our Raspberry Pi via the VNC client. I can see the Raspberry Pi screen. I can click on the user interface, and it's as if I am physically present on my Raspberry Pi but this allows me the flexibility to use any laptop or any PC and connect remotely to my Pi. To get a more full screen viewing, uh, if you hover over the top here, you'll see these icons. So I can click on the full screen and also the resize. And as you can see, now it's taken up my entire screen. So uh, very good user experience. I can, you know, fire up the terminal. I can work on software on my Raspbian distribution here. And it is as if I had connected a monitor to my Raspberry Pi and I am looking at the monitor, but now I'm able to control it via my PC or laptop keyboard and see the monitor on my screen. So pretty cool, uh, very handy, and I use this quite a lot.